Hi, we're here at ITU Telecom World in Bangkok. Great pleasure today to have with me Safia Boa, who is a senior partner at McKinsey & Co. in Johannesburg. Saf, welcome here. Um, really interested on your views about the theme of this event. We're talking about how we're embracing the digital economies, etc., and, and the digital world. What do you see as the greatest benefits, particularly in the markets you're working in? Tony, thanks for that question. You know, the, the biggest benefit of the internet, as we've seen everywhere in the world, is really for the consumer. What we've seen is that it brings untold services, untold value to the consumer from time and memorial. And in Africa, where I've been working and, and been investigating, we think that the opportunity for the consumer with the internet is enormous. We just recently, um, today, released a report that we've been researching for the last um, six months, which really tries to understand what the benefits to the African economies will be over the next 10 years when the internet really happens. And we actually believe that it's going to be around about $300 billion of value that will be added to the African economy, roughly the same size of the Nigerian economy today. A lot of it is going to be for services for consumers, like e-commerce and financial services, but some of it is going to be because governments and companies are going to have to invest to support that demand. So it is, it is going to be transformational in Africa. With the benefits, of course, come the challenges and potentially problems. Do you see any as, uh, as you move towards this new era? You know, there are, with every new technology comes challenges. Uh, and we, we as societies need to, need to figure out how we deal with this and the, and the decisions that we want to make in terms of you know, the, the, the getting the benefits and also managing the challenges. I think the biggest challenge that we will all have to deal with is around security and around how companies use your information and also around whether or not um, we, you know, how it, uh, the d d digitization sep you know, provides benefits for, to one consumer versus another and accelerates or exacerbates the problem of, of what we call now the digital divide. That's the big, those are the two big challenges. Security of your information, giving it to other people so that you can get the benefits, as well as the internet making the haves and have nots um, space wider. What part does McKinsey play in this rollout in Africa? You know, McKinsey has been, is, a, is a consulting firm that helps governments and, and private sector deal with big business and operational issues. And one of the things that we also do is we investigate and try to bring insights into, into business and into the public sphere. And, and what we are really doing is trying to highlight the opportunity so that both government and private sector can take it on and really have the, and to build the courage to invest, to, to make bets, to, to, uh, to get this opportunity. So our real contribution is sh shining the light. And that's what we've tried to do with this report that I, I mentioned that we just released called Lions Go Digital. Because we believe that the digital age is coming to Africa. The opportunity for, for monetizing that is huge, but, but there are obviously some risk and some imperatives for both government and private sector to enable it. And you come to an event like this, uh, what benefit do you get out of it? Is, is it a value? And where do you see the most value? You know, events like this are very important in the in the discourse of what of some of the most thorny questions that surround this this issue, I'll give you one very good example: Spectrum. There's a there's a very important decision to be made around how Spectrum is going to be released to enable private sector and public sector to use it for the benefit of the internet. And it's in the events like this, in the small corners, in the plenaries, in the in the discussions, that the the questions, these thorny questions, are debated, elaborated and people's minds change sometimes slowly so that we can actually reach some sort of discourse, some sort of decision around what we're going to do with some of these decisions, to be frank, which there's no easy answer to. Yes. Safi Obawa, thank you so much for being with me today. And, thank uh, you. And we wish you well in endeavours to get uh, the digital economy rolling through Africa. Tony, thank you for having us. Thank you. Cheers.